you've ever been curious about swamp cabbage, then look no further than this video. So demystify to some extent. Um, these are um, sable palmetto that I dug up from a property that I take care of and uh, as I was pulling them up I noticed that they had a little bit of uh, what they call swamp cabbage in it or, or palm cabbage and uh, it's basically heart of palm like you get from Euterpe or uh, some of the other uh, commercially traded uh, hearts of palm that you get from Asia and South America. This is the Florida version of it or the Southeast United States version of it and on this end of the uh, piece that I'm holding is a nice sort of tender uh, vegetative material that you can use. Um, I don't know if it's something you can use in salads. It's about 12 or 14 years ago I used to work in a corporate kitchen uh, as a chef and uh, we would get large pieces of it of uh, sable palmetto cabbage and from the Adams Ranch in Fort Pierce, Florida and uh, and we would process it down and, and use it mostly for cooking but I want to say we also used it in slaws and salads so uh, but you can check that uh, I don't know if there's any astring stringency issues or anything that needs to be resolved with cooking uh, so anyway so this is a little bit of edible cabbage that came off of this the ones we got from uh, the Adams Ranch were absolutely huge they were probably about three or more inches in diameter by a couple of feet across uh, and uh, but these just came off of little baby sable palms that I dug up and there's also probably a good little chunk of cabbage down in this one if I'm feeling up to it I'll dig this out this is called a uh, saxophone uh, while I'm making the video uh, I've heard it called remote cotyledon and uh, remote radical I think there's a plumule somewhere in there too uh, but this is an adaptation technique by the sable palmetto to survive in the fire community basically um, and again the common name on that is saxophone so uh, it's just a strategy that the palm adapts if this top part gets burned out by fire then it can just regenerate and if you've ever tried to hack one of these things they grow right back uh, they don't perish like some more sensitive palms will do so anyway swamp cabbage palm cabbage um, that's why they call them the cabbage palm uh, and this is also the uh, state tree of Florida as another little trivial fact.